Let's talk about how to set your path variable for use for Laravel development. So what is your path variable? A path environment variable is something that's set on your system, on Linux and Mac systems, so that your system knows what directories to look into when you are running a command. So for example, if I run which git, it's going to find the git command in a user local bin directory. It knew to look into that user local bin directory when you are using the git command because that variable is inside of your path variable. If I echo out path here, we'll see, well, we just have a list of directories, right? I can make this a little bit more human readable, right? So if I do echo path, I'll pipe it to tr, and I'm going to split on a colon and then give it a new line here. And what we'll see is we have a list of all the directories in path variable, but they're on a new line each so we can see all the directories that are in my path. So when I run the command git on the terminal, the system's going to go through each path until it finds git or doesn't find it and gives me an error. So it'll keep going until it finds user local bin. Inside of user local bin is the git command, which is why it found git there. We can also do which dash a git, that'll tell me all the directories in which it finds git, user local bin and user bin. I have two here because I used brews update to a newer git previously. So there's two locations that git is installed. But the first one in my path variable, and therefore the first git to be used by the system is in user local bin, which means that the order of things inside of path matters. The first directory with the command found that you're asking for is the one that wins. So user local bin is earlier in my path than user bin. And so user local bin git is the one that's found whenever I run git. Okay, why is this useful for Laravel development? Now, sometimes inside of a project, you have to type in the full path to a local command or command that's installed locally to your project, such as pest, right? So you might need to run render bin pest in order to run our test suite, right? Or pest or PHP unit, right? Whatever. But it's annoying to have to type in vendor bin PHP unit, vendor bin pest, whatever. What you can do is add relative directories into your path variable, right? So if I edit my ZHRC, which is where I have to go to edit my environment variables for my system, for my shell, we can see that I've exported path here, right? And I'm adding to the system set path variable, the environment variable. And one of the first things I add is actually the current directory. And each directory is separated by colon. So the current directory is added in there. And then there's also vendor bin and node modules dot bin, which is the location of binaries of executable files of commands that you can run inside of a project when they're installed locally to your project, right? So uh, with those settings, I can actually just run pest or PHP unit. And PHP unit has an error there, but that doesn't matter. And if I do which pest, I'll actually see that it's finding it inside of the local directory, right? Dot vendor bin, which is exactly what I want. Much easier for local development. Now, the other thing I did remember is that I had the current directory, just a dot means the current directory. That is also in my path variable, which means I don't have to even do this. I can do PHP artisan, of course, or I could do this, uh, which is another way to tell the system to run a command in the local directory. But because I have the local directory in my path, I can just type artisan as well. And it's finding the local artisan right there, right? So if I do which artisan, it's going to find it in the current directory, right? So this is a very simple trick. You can edit your .zshrc or your uh, what, bashrc or bash profile, whatever your system happens to use for a place where you can add your own environment variables, aliases, all that good stuff. If you're using oh my zsh or zsh as your shell, uh, the home directory zshrc is the place to do that. And you can set your path in there and you'll be off to the races.